Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel, my name is DJ, and today I'm doing a little different video. Uh, I feel like I've said that like every single time uh, in the past video, but it is true, I I'm, I'm doing a lot more different things, that's fine though. Today I'm going to be talking about 5 things that I dislike in Minecraft. Let's get on to number 1. Okay, so why do I dislike the Minecraft community? Well, the community have just gotten more and more toxic over the years, and that's really the reason why um, people have just gone less okay with Minecraft updates, mostly, uh, which you can see here. Comp compare it to everything else. Now, don't don't mind the geodes. I don't know why I made that. That's not exactly an item. That's that's something that spawned. Uh, you can just take that away quickly. But um, a lot of things have been added over the years, and none of them have been bad, in my opinion. The only thing I would say is genuinely bad is the recovery compass. Uh, it does have a use, of course, but most people won't be using this. A lot of people who play hardcore, for example, won't really use this. So that's really the only one I can think of. Other than that, all these additions were good. And I think the community is just allergic to change. And, you know, it's free It's free updates for a 15-year-old game. You know, we should be grateful we're still getting updates. Plus, I've always said that Mojang just does smaller updates right before big updates. See, for example, 1.12 before 1.13 and 14 and 1.15 before 1.16. Um, and these are not small updates, of course, um, in my opinion, but according to the community, they are. So I think that these are not as big as 1.17 and 18, but they are still like fairly uh, sized. So maybe they uh, dialed it back a little in preparation for a big update, or they were just busy working on Minecraft Legends. There's a multitude of reasons. None of them are that Mojang is lazy, which uh, is what, uh, something a lot of people have been saying. But that's my reason more for why I dislike the micro community. Let's get on to number two. So the reason I think the Ender Dragon finds is too easy is because one, it can just be killed by beds easily. Of course, it's not the intended way. I tried. I didn't. It, it didn't work. Uh, it's a little difficult to get the hang of at first, but once you've got it down, it's it's really easy, and you can you can kill the Ender Dragon in seconds. But the other reason is just it's it's just not its attacks are predictable uh you can attack and and you attacking it is easy as well uh of course you have to take these out but those aren't too difficult the dragon most of the time doesn't even bother you when climbing up these uh and you can get them with a bow or snowballs even which is much easier and of course you have these uh cages here but they are really low down and you could uh, shoot a bow through them uh, on bedrock you can't you actually have to get up so that makes it a little bit more difficult but other than that it's basically the same thing don't mind that i didn't die there um so that's why i think that ender dragon fights is too easy and i think it shouldn't be i think it should be a lot more difficult i feel like there should be a second phase where uh, they respawn with with uh even tougher cages maybe maybe all of them will have cages and they'll be really tough maybe you know the ender dragon could be more it could be stronger um its attacks could be more interesting than what it is now which is just trying his breath and and hitting you really hard maybe it could like uh flap you around with its wings it's just an idea but that's why i think the dragon is too easy um and the reason i think that's a problem is because it's supposed to be the final boss of minecraft it's supposed to be uh you know the final challenge final obstacle to get to the end game loot and it's easy. It's just easy. Now, of course, we all know the wither is usually diff more difficult than this, and I don't think that should be the case. The wither is in a nether boss, a boss you get to before this one. It should be easier to do deal with it than this one, but no, it's not. It's more difficult, and it makes absolutely no sense, and I think it's stupid. And that's why I think the end rank is too easy, and why it should be more difficult. Let's get on to them. So my issue here is that it's not bad per se it's not all bad the fact that this the marketplace is here isn't bad it's the fact that it costs money that's bad you know a, a way for uh people to mod bedrock great uh mojang have given that to people i think now uh or well, select people who can make add-ons um and yeah i think that that's great i think this is all good the problem is that it's paid when all of these things are free on java and Honestly, I think that's the worst problem. Microtransactions have always given me sort of icky feeling. And, you know, the this just all makes it worse. Because all of this costs money. And I, I just don't like that. Simply said. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I hate the marketplace. Because it's free on Java and paid on Bedrock. And I feel like the people that have Bedrock, it feels kind of bad, you know. But yeah, and microtransactions just are never good in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Let's go on to number four. 
So this one needs a little bit of explaining. I have an issue where if I download play Minecraft from the launcher itself, the official Minecraft launcher, and use the game capture on OBS, my Minecraft just crashes. And my issue is more the fact that this bug exists, not the fact that it's uh, happening to me. I don't really care. I use Prism Launcher for almost everything now because it's just better um, to use, in my opinion, as well. But the fact that this bug exists in the game is pretty bad because a lot of people use OBS and a lot of people play Minecraft and, you know, like to stream it. I, whenever I play Minecraft, have to use Prism Launcher. Now, of course, it doesn't change anything about the game itself, but it still does suck. But, you know, even if it fixes now, I'm going to keep using Prism Launcher because, in my opinion, it's just better and all my, you know, saves are on there now. And yeah, that's it. Let's get on to number five. I hope you know, by the way, this entire video, I've been winging these bits. I've re-recorded most of it like five times because I just didn't like what I was saying. Um, and with that, I'm going to, this is going to just be one take and we'll see where this ends up. So, because this is not the fifth time, this is the eleventh time I've recorded this. So let's just do it. The reason I don't like, um, <laughs> we're setting up great, aren't we? This is just fantastic. So the reason that I think diamonds are fairly useless or don't have many uses, is after two sacks, you don't need them. Um, previously, it was 37. Now it's two sacks with uh, the addition of netherite. Then netherite upgrades and armor trims. And I think that's great. This is good. And honestly, my prayers have been answered. But it still s it feels like it's not enough. I don't know. It could just be me. But it feels like diamonds should have a little more of a use than this. Uh, maybe adding on to some other things. Maybe making hoppers faster or something. Maybe, you know, making dispensers shoot farther. It could have some redstone capabilities. I don't know. This is just something I, I this just popped into my mind right now. Uh, I still have a blooper here. Uh, there was, I, I was going to just add some bloopers, but there's not really any actual bloopers. The only bloopers that there are is this one. Because uh, one, I wasn't recording apparently, even though at the time I thought I was, but I wasn't. And other than that, all the clips that I recorded are just me talking and then saying, no, I don't like that and restarting. Also, wait a second. That's a bog. I did not know bog spawned naturally. This is new information to me. Like, uh, this, again, it's probably just me, but... I'm keeping this in, though. This is my second blooper. <laughs> this is my second blooper. Uh, the fact that, you know the worst part is, that showed up right before I started recording. So, that's really weird. I didn't think it would happen again. I, I waited until it went away to start recording. Anyways, here's the last blooper before we get to the end of the video. So, let me just say now, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy this, like, subscribe. I, I'm really hoping to get to 1k uh, at some point. And if you're watching this, I'm on vacation. So, you know, uh, I'll be back. Uh, I don't know when. Um, you know, join the Discord. The date will probably be in announcements. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. God, just in case. So this is the amount you'd need to duplicate this four times and duplicate this four times. My God. That's the second time that's happened. I'm keeping this in. That was my girlfriend texting me. Y you know what you did. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm fine with it. But I did mute you. So, you know, uh, sorry for the late response, I guess. I'm almost done, I swear.